This is verse 12 of the second chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. We are concluding the discussion of the Magi that have come from the east. They've been commanded by Herod to come back and give him word of the uh, whereabouts of this newborn child who is reputedly the king of the Jews. And we now hear how they are protected, of course, from the uh, bad outcome that would have taken place had they actually returned to Herod. So we have Kai, the connective. Uh, then we have Krematisthentes. This is from Krematidzo. It's actually a word that means or has its roots in a verb that means to be an oracle or to give an oracular statement of some kind. It, of course, is derivative from that. But uh, the idea here, this is, by the way, the uh, aorist passive uh, participle. It's in the uh, uh, masculine singular, or plural, actually, uh, nominative. So it's referring to the uh, uh, magi, but in the passive voice, something that was done to them, in other words. So this is uh, having been warned. They didn't give the oracle. They were given it by some means or other. So having been warned in some kind of oracular experience, uh, more or less a vision or something like that, having been warned, and then a cat, a short uh, version, the abbreviated version of kata, uh, which means according to, and then uh, the word for, uh, one of the words for onar, which means a dream, it's a neuter noun. So according to a dream, so <clears throat> apparently one or all of them may have gotten this same uh, dream, some kind of night vision, but being warned in that may, the negation, uh, this uh, may is used with non-indicative uh, verbs, and that's what we have here. We have an infinitive, so anakompsai. It's an aorist infinitive. Uh, it means to uh, return. The ana, of course, uh, means up, and the uh, kompsai part uh, has the notion of uh, going, and so re going up or going back is the idea. So not to return, pros, preposition takes the accusative, which we have here, the accusative of Herod, so Herodane. So being warned uh, in some kind of night vision not to return to Herod. And then uh, D, uh, short of dia, used here with the genitive, means through. And so through alles, this is a, a, a adjective, another uh, feminine, as it goes with this second declension feminine noun, hodos, here's the genitive singular hodu, so through another way, and then anakoresan. This is the principal verb here, third person plural. Uh, this is the aorist uh, plural indicative. Uh, they returned. Uh, the koreo, uh, root of the verb, means to go, uh, used to depart, and the ana, once again, uh, that we have here, somewhat like we had earlier. Uh, to go up or uh, to uh, go away is the idea. Uh, to return is the way it's idiomatically rendered. So by another way, they returned ace preposition with the accusative tain koran, means country, so the country out tone. Uh, genitive plural of this uh, masculine pronoun to their own country. So they're warned, of course, and uh, headed out, uh, headed east, uh, bypassing Jerusalem. Uh, maybe even under cover of uh, darkness, they make their way back toward the Jordan, uh, the fords of the Jordan, and probably from there are prepared to head east and uh, escape out of what might have been a rather unhappy consequence had they returned to Herod.